Hey guys, and welcome back to me playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is going to be part 6. We just got a bunch of dialogue and plot, basically saying go to Death Mountain next, but we're going to ignore it completely, and go back to the Kokiri Forest. But along the way, we're going to make a quick stop at Long Lawn Ranch to learn a few songs, to learn a song, actually, not too many songs. And hopefully I have enough rubies to play the mini game. but you'll find out more about that if I get there before night, which I probably won't. Oh, I jinxed myself, oh good. Uh, I guess this is going to be grind for a bit, and then progression kind of thing, huh? So, how have you guys been doing? <clears throat> I've been doing great. I've been actually watching sc scary Easter eggs and video game videos. Getting really hyped up about those. Not hyped up, scared up, actually. A lot of people talking about w really weird crap that the developers put in their games. <clears throat> Can't think of an example right now. Sorry, kind of lost my train of thought. Most of them with ghosts, though. Really creepy whispering in ghosts. All that stuff just gets me. Sometimes I usually play into the night and I heard whispers like that. Oh man. I would pee my pants so fast. They call Niagara Fall Slow. So make pee joke. I can check that one off the checklist. Okay. Moving on. And it is morning. Hopefully I have enough money to play. Oh, oh. <clears throat> That's what I love about these guys. The more you kill, the more likely you are to get the bigger ones. And the bigger ones always pay out more. Really good mechanic for trying to farm rubies. And here we are, Long Line Ranch. We're going to meet a familiar face here. And hear a familiar tune. Oh. Also, it doesn't hurt to save every couple seconds. Just in case. Hmm. Never noticed it, but a lot of these horses probably could have just wandered out through that front gate right there. Hmm. I bet they're all pretty, pretty good, pretty good and tame. Seem like nice folks around here. Yes, it's me. I'm a fairy boy. Yes, I did all those things. And then you beat him, right? That's what he said you would do. Oh, just ignoring that. Gotcha. Oh. Bye, horse. I'll give her something to be afraid about. Joking, I'm joking. I love Epona. She's adorable. I don't have a voice. How am I going to sing? Oh, I got an ocarina. That works. <clears throat> There's a couple of times in the game where you have to just pull out your ocarina some randomly. And 
but sometimes the NPCs will give you feedback and say, Oh yeah, 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 use your ocarina. Play a song. Are you going to play a song or something? If it was just totally random, then the mechanic would just be stupid. It's like bombing, burning every wall and... In Legend of Zelda 1, if you didn't have a map, that's just what you were resorted to. That's what I resorted to. Yay, we learned the Pona song. Yay. It glows with the magic of horseship. Instead of friendship, now it's horseship. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't think he still. I don't think he likes me. Still. Uh, uh, he's he's pushing me towards the exit. Yeah, he doesn't like me. Oh God, what have I done? Oh man. I have offended the horse people. I'm out of here. So yeah, I got a song. Now we can get a bottle. Or play for a bottle. This mini game sometimes screws you over. Let's go talk to Malino, or Malin for short. Hey, Mumble Mumble, oh, I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be. Okay, I'm not gonna do a voice like that. That's. I can just feel my vocal cords starting to throw up. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so she beat you to beat you a lot, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to save the world, but okay, I got free time. The trick here with this minigame is that you, if the cuckoo you grab isn't the super cuckoo, you gotta throw it behind you. Or throw it off to the side where you know it's a regular one. Also, you gotta watch really carefully, so I'm gonna be quiet for like five seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. The two, the last one was right behind me. Oh yeah. I did it. Hmm. Well. Sure. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's see what kind of family you guys are now. Gotcha. Proud sample of our own Lala milk. I never drink your milk, I just drink it to get rid of it so I can put fairies in it and useful items. Or fish. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So now that we got that out of the way. We need to go back to Kokiri Forest. Because you can't progress in the story unless you get something from there now. I don't kind of like that because as a kid I kind of got lost at that part. The reason I got lost is because I'm a kid, I'm not going to read all the dialogue. Or I'm not going to talk to Navi. I'm going to... If Empa says, oh, Death Mountain, go there. I'll be like, okay. I was a naive child. Probably still am. I shouldn't be telling you all these things. 
but I am. Oh man, these things are these things creep me out. They're called pee hats. Anyone who's played Zelda knows about them. They've certainly grown in size since Legend of Zelda One. Well, that 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 spin is just adorable. Oh man. I've also been up to, I guess, you could say I've been up to watching, well, re-watching all of Aqua Teen Hunger Force since the last episode premieres this Sunday. The Aqua Teen was a big part. So what is one of my, still one of my favorite shows, just because of how, I don't want to say random, I just want to say just how outlandish some of the episodes are. And just how dang quotable it is. I mean, I don't usually quote it. Because I can't remember the quotes a day later. But sometimes I'll quote Dr. Weird. And everything will be good. What? What? What is that noise? That is... I've never heard that noise before. I am scared. Okay, this minigame... This is a fun minigame. Can't really call it a minigame, though. Oh, hang on. Get a hundred. And keep where your slingshot is right there. Then just repeat two more times. And bingo, you get an upgrade. For what do you think? It, what for? It's for your Deku slingshot. Isn't that nifty? I'm just getting so many upgrades. It's so amazing. Oh my god. Owl, owl, Capogabora, friend here. Just tells you, oh, listen, you gotta listen to wherever the song's coming from. No, I do not. Get away, Mr. Owl. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot. You really needed to add that hoot hoot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's a warp to Death Mountain. Can't go through there yet. Really, all you have to do for a lot of this is just follow the tunnels with the black. Don't go in the tunnels with the white. Or else you just end up back in the Kokiri forest. Oh, but this one was always <clears throat> kind of a trick. Yeah, you actually had to go into the white light that time. Did that do anything for you? Oh, I hope I don't get sued for that statement. Oh look, Wolfos. Well, these things are cool. I just did a jump attack where it killed it in one hit. But then I thought, that's kind of cruel, so I didn't. And that's it for this time. See you guys later.